Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Hazeline. If you have watched my videos in the past, you know that I was a Singapore Airlines cabin crew. Through this video, I like to wrap up this chapter of my life by recalling the reasons I joined the airline. What did I like about it? My best experience, my worst experience, <laughs> as well as replying to your comments and messages on why I quit my job and what's my next step. So watch till the end. I remember I was 12, I traveled with Singapore Airlines to London on an A380 aircraft and I was in the airport sitting and I saw this big group of cabin crew they were like coming towards me and I was like wow so cool <laughs> and then in the flight the girls they were in their kabayas and I thought like wow they're so elegant and they always look like they know what they're doing so I was like oh I want to be like them I said that during the interview because they asked me if I have traveled with Singapore Airlines before and what do I think about the cabin crew. I didn't prepare this line, it was genuine, so that's probably what got me in, I guess. <laughs> what I like about the job is that oh, every single day was different. I really like that because whenever I wake up, there's something to look forward to and I think it's very exciting. I could be in Europe during winter time and then I get to experience Christmas market which is something that I cannot experience in Asia and whenever I am in Japan, I get to explore Japanese restaurants, I like Japanese food. Whenever I'm in UK and in Australia, I get to meet my friends and my family and then oh, whenever I'm in New York, I just feel so good. I think it's a very unique place that I cannot find in other parts of the world and I just feel good whenever I'm there. My life was just so exciting. It was really good. Best experience? I don't think I have one particular best experience but I do feel happy whenever passengers remember my name. Uh, instead of just saying thank you, they say oh, thank you Hazeline. I feel very good, like I feel like oh okay, oh <laughs> it's like oh it's me. For a brief moment I feel like oh I am doing something very meaningful. <laughs> this happened five years ago, I was in my second year flying. I was in the flight, I made a mistake. And this person asked me, why did you do that? It was really my fault. I was like, there was nothing I can say at the moment because any explanation will sound like an excuse. I didn't want that, so I kept on apologizing. But this person, he kept on demanding for an answer. So I was very cornered at that time. I had to say something. I had to make an excuse. And the moment he heard that, he was so furious that he used the F word at me. I was really shocked. For five minutes, I was just... I paused for five minutes. And this bothered me for like one week. I know that I should speak for myself, but I did not because I was 21 years old back then. I only started working for less than two years. I didn't know my rights. Of course, it doesn't bother me anymore at this moment, but if the same thing ever happened to me again, I think I can handle it way better than before. It's definitely an experience that made me think like how I should react next time if the same thing ever happened again. This is my dream job, so one or two reasons definitely not enough for me to decide to quit my job. It was a difficult decision. There are many reasons, but one of the reasons is that I want more personal growth. I have been consistently challenging myself outside my job, like um, learn Korean, go to uni, make videos, just in case one day I lose my job or I cannot do my job, like I am sick or I broke my leg or there's another pandemic. Because this job requires me to be physically there. So if I'm not there, I don't have income. So I, I just wish that if one day I cannot be physically there, I can still have another way or another skill to support myself. 
And another thing is this job may offer quite an attractive starting salary, but the salary growth over time is rather gradual. I once had a senior shared with me that his current pay is the same as 15 years ago when he first started, even he got promoted. I do feel that I am really lucky to be able to save some money at young age, but I know that it is time for me to step out of my comfort zone to challenge more things and bigger things. I like to remind my future self do not be afraid to step up of your comfort zone. Do not be afraid of change. Do not be afraid to make a decision that is different from others. Different doesn't mean that you're weird. Different doesn't mean that you're wrong. Why not? Doing something illegal is wrong. Committing a crime is wrong. Okay, now we're gonna talk about what's next. I am moving to Korea to learn Korean. So I have been learning Korean in Korean Language Academy in Singapore for three years when I was flying and for the past two years I have been self-learning and practicing a lot with Korean friends and language exchange friends. I always thought that it's a waste that I don't have a chance to learn Korean directly in Korea. I always wanted to do that because I can converse with Koreans. Um, I don't have problem with that but I always wanted to be a little bit better than now like maybe I won't say native level, that's too much to ask for, but maybe business level or close to native level. I think it's only possible when I am living there, so I am going to do that. I am very excited to directly experience Korean culture, be in a totally new environment, learn from different people's perspectives, and learn how to live in Korea. It's gonna be a very exciting journey! <laughs> Of course, I will also share my career life with all of you here. But before that, right after I quit my job, I traveled to Europe for five weeks and I documented my entire journey. It's my first time traveling for such a long time and filming the entire journey was not easy. There were a lot of problems in between, but I will still going to share it with all of you. So yeah, thank you so much for watching my video. I will see you in my next video, Europe Travel Vlog. See you! Bye! <laughs> I just quit my job. I did it! <laughs>